Hey guys, Pai here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a really cool brand new retractable sunshade for Tesla Model 3 to share with you. This is the second generation retractable sunshade from Autoford. So this should be a lot easier to install. So in today's video, I'll show you what comes in the box of this retractable sunshade from Ultra Ford and then I'll show you a step-by-step -step installation how to install it in my Tesla Model 3 this actually comes with um, two parts one in the front the top glass roof and one in the rear and at the end I'll show you how they look in my Tesla Model 3 now let's go Let's see what comes in the box of this retractable Model 3 sunshade from Ultra Ford. So these came in the box. Let's take a closer look. All right. So there are two um, retractable sunshades here. One, it's for the front or the middle part, the middle glass roof, which is this one. And this is for the rear glass roof. And there are a few tools here. Um, this is the tools that will help you open up the headliner to install the sunshade. This is the second generation um, from them actually. So this should be a lot easier to install compared to the first generations. So these are all the tools from the back. This will help adjust um, the locking clip for the front sunshade. I'll show you in the installation part. And then a screwdriver. And this is the spare clips and this is the locking clip for the rear sunshade and the white gloves. Okay, let's take a closer look of the material real quick. So this color of the, the material here really similar to the headliner of my Model 3. We'll see um, after I install it and compare to the original headliner but this second generation I think they did a better job on the material here and this is really similar to what they had before so this will fan out so you can close and open this part on the inside is has that foil uh, material to protect the heat from the outside of the car so there'll be two layers one here and one on this side and same here on the rear part. Let me show you the back real quick. Here you go. Same way. And the back structure is much, much better than the first generation here. As you can see, the first generation, I could see like a, a some kind of glue material to mount this on the pads here on the headliner material but this i can't even tell anymore so it has a better structure overall so the on the inside they're all um, built from the light really light weight aluminum frame on the inside on both front and rear so overall it's really light it's not that heavy Now we saw everything that came in the box. Let's go and install it in my Tesla Model 3. I got this awesome retractable sunshade or full shade from Ultra 4. This is the second version as I mentioned before. And as you can see here, it's $249. Now it used to be, I think $499. And that price is actually for both Model 3 and model y and now you can choose two different colors silver or black black color it's only available for model y and this is the shipping date so model y will start shipping in june and model 3 will start shipping in may um, they told me they'll start shipping beginning of may so if you are interested you can actually pre-order it right now and you can use my special discount code that TC10 for another extra 10% off. So after that 10% off, 
it's actually $224. Remember this price is for both Model 3 and Model Y. All right, now let's go and install it in my Tesla Model 3. Okay, now let's prepare the front part first. We, we are going to install the front part first. So we have to unscrew this one right here. So unscrew out, and then we're gonna flip all the way this way, and then use the same screw and screw back in. So just unscrew, and then turn this around, aim back to the same spot that we unscrew it, and then we screw it back in. So this part will help lock the sunshade in place in the back. We'll do the same thing on that side. Okay, next, make sure these locking clips right here, there are two. Go back to the metal, just like that. And then now we're ready to get this front sunshade in the car for installation. Okay, now I got the sunshade in the car. Don't forget to wear the gloves that were, um, they, they provided. It's like a magician's gloves. <laughs> so you don't get your headliner dirty. So make sure you face um, this part right here to the rear. So this is the flap that is going to lock into between the headliner and the glass piece on your glass roof. So just aim and then insert that flap into the headliner just like so. Okay, as you can see, the rear part is go all the way in. And then, here now it's the front part. Now I'm using that, um, the sun visor. See, it's dark sun visor to rest it on first. Because we will, next we will use this clip. We try to adjust that clip right here. That clip right there, and then insert into the headliner. So basically this front shade will use this clip to lock it in place. So we'll try to start from the inside. After it's in the headliner, then we'll move it to the outside to lock it. Same thing on that side right there. Okay, so I found that easier to use one of these trim removal tools to open up the gap on the headliner. So we can insert this in, just like that. So now you can see it's on the inside already. Now we can just keep moving this to this side all the way to the end of the right side. Keep moving along. Okay, just stop right there so we can um, finish the one on the left. Let me show you again on the other side. So you just this, twist a little, push this in, and then now try to move it on this side. Done. As you can see, I push all the way to that side and this side here. So this is the most I can push in. Now it's locked in place. It stayed really, really well. All right, the front sunshed is done. It's really simple and easy. No screws at all. Just that clip. You got it in place and lock on both sides, and you're done. It and it stays really, really well. Like I cannot move. And let's check out, um, before we install the one in the rear, let's see the color here. The color is really, really close right here. Um, it's hard to tell because of the, there you go, now see better. You see the light, it's, it's the lighting. It's really hard to tell um, from the camera. But if you see from the camera right here, see? Um, this is like a shade lighter than the headliner of the Model 3, but it looks really good. It looks really close. But at least the, the, the color tint, you see the front, um, the back here, 
closer so it's it's the lighting that's playing my eyes and on the camera so see the front it looks darker one shade but then the I mean the, the rear is darker one shade but then the front looks like it's lighter one shade it's just the lighting but so far overall looks really good it blends in really well with the, the headliner of the model 3 and now I can just close it and open All right now let's install the one in the rear okay so the same thing here for the rear retractable sunshade you just have to um, unscrew this flip around screw it in same thing on both sides before we put it in the car let me show you real quick how it's gonna be um, installed and locked on the rear part of the sunshade so we use this locking clip this part will go into the headliner just like this and then when you insert this end the headliner right there on the front then you slide this in here to lock it so you slide it in this little uh, piece a little hole to lock it in place just like that now this will hold the whole thing all together on both sides so this way is so much easier um, to install no screw in the installation at all all right so i got the sunshade for the rear up as you can see here make sure you insert this one part into the headliner okay so this part will go into this headliner just slide it in something on this side slide it in like so and now we know where this one ends right here let's see if we can put the clip just put the clip like um, maybe right there and then just try to push it in okay so I'm trying to use the tools that they gave me and open up the headliner just like that and then I'll try to put the clip as you can see here as close to this as possible so put the clip in there now it's gonna be hard to move there so just do this to open up now we have to slide it in the slot here that's it so this will lock this not to fall down it looks really good that's really easy now and lock in place all right just do the same thing on the other side that's it Make sure you push all the way this one is really easy a lot easier than the front actually i thought this one is harder so the installation is done wow so much easier than i thought it would be um, there's no screw at all you just screw it um, to flip it over and then just slide it in and then lock it in place pretty much that's it i would say about half an hour for the installation now let's test it out for the front sunshade so now now I can close it all the way or open all the way or I can also close it halfway you know if I want some sun in there just like that let's check out the one in the rear too all right so here's the rear sunshade you can just close all the way in just like this and then open all the way out so that's the furthest um, you can close the sunshade in the back um, it's at least covered the head of the rear passenger can you sit down you see so the sun when the sun hit the top on um, the rear glass at least cover the head of the rear passenger just right there where the headrest is which is awesome or if you know the rear passenger wants some sun you can do it halfway just like that and you get some sun here or you can close it all the way in again this uh, foil material on the inside of this collapsible um, part right here so it's protecting the UV and the heat 
to get in the car when you park so I would just close all the way when I park in the summer for sure and I can use it all year long I don't have to remove it at all just you know open and close all right I'll show you the overall look of this awesome retractable sunshade from O2 Ford in my Tesla Model 3 Let's test it out real quick. So I had it um, installed and closed all the covers in the car front and rear. And I have a thermometer right here. It's at 80, um, 68.7 right now. And I will time it um, for 30 minutes. And I have the car as it's supposed to, um, you know, if I would park outside under the sun so i have the sun shade on the windshield and that closed so let's test with this close first for 30 30 minutes and then we'll come back start see the temperature keep increasing to 69.3 right now so 30 minutes we'll come back all right it's been half an hour let's go check it out Ooh, it's hot out there today. Look, look at the sun. It's a perfect day to test the sunshade. So it said here 85.6 Fahrenheit. Okay. Um, I will just now we just open it and then I'll do it as quick as possible so the weather doesn't change that much. It's um, let me show you. It's 12:50 two right now let me open the shade in the back too so this would be closest to no shade at all so back open front open let's set um, the timer again 30 minutes start and then we'll come back and see with all the shades open the time is up it's been half an hour let's go check it out Ooh, it's feel a lot hotter. Whoa, as you can see here, 101. That's like 85, 15, 16 degrees different between closed and open the sunshade. See, sunshade's open, all open right now. And when I was close, I closed it. It was 15 degrees cooler in here. Um, as you can see, the time 124. So temperature doesn't change much between half an hour that we waited all right now we know retractable sunshade help a lot when you park outside especially you know when you park you go to work and park your car for eight hours so this will help saving the battery a lot every day because since it helps with the temperature inside the cabin to be cooler so it doesn't use that much of the batteries to cool the carbon down when you park the car outside. Wow, I was really surprised how easy it was to install both front and rear for this retractable um, sunshade from O2 Ford. I'll make sure to put the link of this retractable sunshade in the description down below and also as always special discount code for you now. I have an awesome retractable sunshade in my model 3 and just right um, in time before the summer comes in southern california it's really really hot it's gonna be really hot this summer anyways this gonna help a lot thank you so much guys for watching today's video and don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace <laughs>